Hello and welcome. My name is James Holland. I'm a student researcher at Florida Poly, working with the Advanced Mobility Institute. Today, I'm here to discuss our research efforts associated with autonomous vehicles and the roadways they'll inhabit. With the rapid development of autonomous vehicle technologies, it is only a matter of time before these vehicles begin to become commonplace on our roads. Already, there has been a multitude of incidents involving autonomous vehicles. In order to ease the transition into this new age of transportation, finding ways to improve AEV drive systems and the roadway ecosystem as a whole are crucial. Preparing our roadways and drivers for this new technology is a must to help ease the transition. By collecting data on roadway designs and possible features of roads that increase the likelihood of an accident, future roads can be designed to avoid these hazards. Characteristics of roads, such as curvature, lane width, and super elevations, have been shown to directly affect the rate of crash currents. Through the processing of incidents, the roadways can be identified and their geometry scrutinized with the safety of all vehicles in mind. Our solution to these issues facing autonomous vehicles is to develop a system that automatically processes incident details in real time to identify roadway features and to create a simulation of the incident. By referencing weather and traffic data from the time of the incident, the system can take the influence of these factors into account to produce a more accurate representation. This requires the system to retrieve data from several databases. The first database would be that of the Advanced Mobility Institute. The Advanced Mobility Institute, or AMI, has gathered a total of 96 incidents involving autonomous vehicles. The details of these incidents come courtesy of media outlets and the California Department of Motor Vehicles. The description and locations of these incidents are logged in the AV database. Once a simulation is created, the database is updated with a preview of the simulation as well as a downloadable zip file containing the necessary code to run the simulation in your own MATLAB environment. Recreating an incident also requires map data of the location it occurred. OpenStreetMaps is an open source effort to create a free, editable world map. More importantly, however, is that this map also contains data and information for roadways, such as speed limits and roadway geometry. By using OpenStreetMaps, we are able to gather all the necessary data to reconstruct the roadways in question for the placement of vehicles in the simulation. To process an incident and recreate it, the system first would retrieve incident locations and details from a centrally managed database. Next, the system would gather a map of the area in which the incident occurred. By using NLP, the text data related to the accident can be processed to create a script of what occurred. With the main roadway in question identified, the system can determine any features of the road that may have increased the likelihood of the incident. Following the script, the system then plots the vehicles and their paths on the map. Finally, with the map data processed, actors defined, and roadway features identified, the simulation can be run. The simulation's primary concern is the autonomous vehicle and any vehicles or pedestrians directly involved in the accident. These actors' paths are gathered from the incident description. To create a more realistic portrayal of the incident, the roads are also populated with extras that are simply following the predefined path of the road, not interfering with the incident itself. Currently, we have successfully created the modules that allow for the system to function, but not yet automatically. Enabling the system to run, retrieve, and update automatically is the goal of the next phase of development. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to learn more about the work being conducted by AMI. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about our system and progress as much as I did in building it. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our companion video where we demonstrate and navigate the AMI database.